Hi, my name's Katie Lyons and I'm doing this craft video today for the big skill. I will be showing you how to gold leaf using size, which is a glue, onto mainly shells, um, stones and give you lots of suggestions for other things that you could bling up. Gilding sheets come in a variety of colours. We've got silver, copper, sort of rose gold, but we're going to be using gold today because that's my favourite blingiest colour, I think. And um, we should have some fun. For this craft session today, you're going to need kids craft varnish for the end product. A little bottle of size um, it's just the glue and you have to leave that after you paint it on for about 20 minutes or longer but if you try and do it before that it doesn't work because we've experimented you'll need some paint brushes one for glue one to sort of pick it up and one to sort of burnish it and also a container to catch the little tiny bits of gold leaf which will get everywhere for the decoupage shell, you're going to need just a napkin and then you just put some gold leaf around the edge. You can do the back as well if you want to. And then you'll need the craft varnish to go on the top to seal the napkin up. To show you why we can't just use, well you can, but why it's better not to use just gold paint, here's a shell that got painted with just some gold paint and then there's the gilded one it's so shiny compared to it's a bit matte and flat and a bit boring that's why we use the sheets of gold you paint the shell with the size quite thinly and then you leave it for 20 minutes get your gold leaf sheets and you can even just press it on just let it go sort of wrapped around. Just use your fingers or you can use a brush. There we go. There it is. This is just your first part. You can add pieces that you can break off. It's very, very thin. And you don't want to have a window open because it's uh, <laughs> it'll just blow away. Which has happened to me. And you just keep pressing down until you can't see any gaps. But if there are gaps where you've missed the glue, that's fine. You just go back. Whoops! You just go back to that later. Re-glue it and then redo it. Now you can use a stiffer brush. I should really have got my container under here to catch all the bits. Sort of pick those up. And you brush it quite hard, really. You don't expect to do it that hard. Just make nice decorations in the bathroom or just on a shelf. See, it's coming quite good now. I think that's mostly covered. Oh, there's a little gap there. Pick up some flake. Just do that next shell. where there's gaps really. It's very simple, it's really fun craft to do and it's so shiny and results. You just get it stuck all over as much as you can. Sort of press it down a bit too and then you come along with your brush and it's called burnishing. Sort of press it quite hard and it gets all the excess off. 
So you can do the whole shell or just the outside or just the inside. Whatever you want to do. And if like I've started on some twigs, I'll just show you and I'll finish this. As you can see, there's gold dust everywhere. <laughs> but it stays really firmly stuck to that special size glue. It's really shiny. And these are the stick twigs I did. And there's quite a lot of gaps. But you just go back, re-glue, and then wait the 20 minutes or more and do it again. So I'm going to try and put a little bird on there or something for a sort of Easter decoration or Christmas. Anything you want. I've done some rocks in advance and I've, you can see it's slightly shiny on the end, so that's where it's gone nice and tacky after the 20 minutes. And I made this one earlier with a nice stroke going all the way around. And get my gold leaf, stick it on, oops, so twigs in there. And then brush it off. If you get a nice straight line, I think these look better then. You can do spots or zigzags. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how to use like a sticky embossing powder. And then you can do lettering or stamp on it and then do the gilding over the top with your gold leaf. It's a lovely effect for cards or on a big rock you could have lettering on that. So that's that one. There's one. There's a little stripe in the middle. Two decoupage inside maybe an oyster shell or a bigger one. Unfortunately, you can't find my bigger shells at the moment. And you just get your napkin and you pull it apart so it's just one layer thick. Sort of roughly pull it into the shape that you think will fit in there. It doesn't have to be accurate really because you're going to be able to rip off the pieces at the end. And in this part here, you're just going to use PVA glue just normal school glue. Just, just a bit in the middle. You can water it down, but I tried it like this and it was okay. So you go right up to the edge nearly to where you want it, and then you'll leave this to dry for not very long because shells are porous, so it's just want it tacky really so nearly to the edge because you're going to put a gold edge around there and if you've got a big shell you can use it for jewelry ring dish that kind of thing if you varnish it or use some heavy duty varnish like yacht varnish you could put sort of bathroom items in as well there we go and let that dry for a sec and then you put you can paint it white beforehand, but I quite like the uneven coloration from the shell that came through with this one. So I'm going to stick with not painting it. Now that's overlapped, so you're going to need a bit of glue under there. Try not to rip it because it's quite easy to do that and 
if you think oh there's a strange flower there it's not quite working out you can cut out the flower and stick it over the top as a secondary piece when it's dried or you could do it beforehand but it's easier to see what gaps there are and what you want to do when it's dried out now you have to leave it to dry for a bit maybe five minutes or so you can actually sort of pull it slightly and rip it off you have to be careful to do that or you can cut it around the outside just roughly and then you're being impatient here <laughs> wait for it to dry and pull off a bit more Oops. There's lots of other napkins. I like blue and white in shells. That's quite a nice one as well. I'm using that one today. So it doesn't actually have to dry before you put this on. You just can squirt it onto the brush if you're so careful. A tiny blob. And you want it to go where you want the gold leaf to go really. You can have a bigger section, wider section at that end of the shell and some thinner areas and just go all the way around. It's quite hard waiting for the 20 minutes so you just want to get on with it but it does need it. I'm carry on doing that. I almost forgot to say, don't forget to wash your brush because this stuff is really sticky <laughs> and you'll just have a hard brush so it's better to wash it while it's still wet. Okay, my 20 minutes is up. And the napkins dry quite well as well. So I'll just start putting the gold leaf on. When I first started, I just used a brush, but I think your thumb and fingers okay it seems to work just as well. Just try not to press onto the glue with your thumb before you put the gold leaf on it, because you'll take some of the stickiness off. And just go all around, way around. Oops, I need my pot. Catch the bits. Just brush it off. And you have to be quite push quite hard, harder than you think. It won't come off because it's very sticky stuff. But all the flakes that aren't stuck down will come off. You could do the whole back as well, just like that one there. <laughs> there we go, there's another one. Just going to use some craft varnish just to seal up the napkin. Oops, wrong end. <laughs> Make it a bit shinier and stronger so that it won't wear out when you put the things in it you want to put in it. It doesn't take too long to dry. You could do two coats if you wanted the shinier effect. And you can even go over the top of the gold a bit but you don't have to. There we go. And I haven't got many rings on. I'll just take my wedding ring off if I can. And then you can just use it as a little ring dish or earrings. It's just a pretty item. 
thanks for watching and i hope to make quite a few more videos soon so keep watching the big skill site thank you bye